This is it. A genetically modified pig kidney. It was truly the most beautiful kidney I have ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. A team of surgeons in Boston spent four hours transplanting the first genetically modified pig kidney into a 62-year-old man. Once attached, almost immediately, it started working to clean his blood. Now, days later, a rare flood of emotion. <laughs> A surgeon overcome with deep gratitude for the decades of research, unwavering teamwork, and the courage it took to reach this milestone for patients. Our hope is that dialysis will become obsolete. Massachusetts General says the patient, Richard Slayman, is now up and walking around the hospital after spending nearly a decade hooking up to dialysis machines several days a week to remove waste from his blood. Doctors say Slayman decided to undergo the experimental surgery after his human donor kidney failed. He saw this as not only as a way to, to improve his own personal life, but a way to provide hope for the thousands of people who need a transplant to survive. Already, genetically modified pig hearts have been used for transplantation. Patients survived for about two months. The key is preventing viruses and rejection of the organ. To do that, scientists used gene editing technology CRISPR to remove harmful pig genes while adding human genes to make it more compatible. This is a truly exceptional and exciting advance, both in biology and medicine. Canadian doctors hope this surgery is just the beginning. I anticipate we'll see many of these transplants done over the next decade. But some are anticipating a debate over using animals in this way. These animals are healthy, they're not stressed, they're super clean. So I think there's less objection here than there might be to the use of one billion pigs per year for breakfast. So Christine, animal ethics aside here, what does this mean for people waiting for a kidney right now? Dialysis isn't going away anytime soon, but this is a big step. Kidneys are the most sought after organ. There are nearly 3,000 Canadians waiting right now for a kidney transplant. Based on what we just witnessed, this research is progressing, but doctors stress human organ donation is still the key. That said, they're hoping this pig kidney will offer this man two years. He's recovered from the surgery and it's expected he'll be discharged from hospital in the coming days. All right, Christine, thank you. You're welcome.